Hey guys, so I am going to be doing a review on The Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss, and it is the second installment to the Throne of Glass series. Now, two weeks ago, I was very recommended and probably harassed to get this series. Um, I was <laughs> tracked down on Goodreads and told to read this series. I was told by my blogger um, readers to get the series. I was told by my family to get the series. I was told by my friends to get the series. So I'm like, what the heck? So I went and picked up the first book, The Throne of Glass, and I fell in love. I honestly have not read such a good book in such a so long of time. And it was so good to have a series to finally sit down and enjoy. And I must say, I am in love with this series already, even though I've only like just started the series. Um, the Crown of Midnight takes off um, where Selena is doing her missions for the kings because she was the king's champion now, you know. So she, you know, goes around doing his missions, but the offhand is is that she has found a loophole into these missions because she does not like the king and so she's going to underhand him in any way that she can. Um, the attraction between Dorian and Selena in this one isn't as strong as it was in the first one, but to me I'm honestly okay with that. I honestly did not like Dorian that much. He, he was just, you know, too pretty for my liking. I'm not a big you know, pretty boy fan, that's probably why I was never an Edward Cullen fan. So I'm not team Dorian, I am team Cole. And I'm so glad that I am that team right now because after finishing this book, I am just 100% behind him. Another thing which like threw me through a loophole was the dirty little secret that Dorian has. Even though he doesn't know his own dirty little secret, I was flabbergasted, I was shocked, I was in awe. This book is written in such a good way that I'm probably going to reread it like six more times. I love the characters. They, it goes so much more in depth on Selena's background story. And oh my god, when you get to the end of this book, you will not believe what you read. Like, I was crying and sobbing and like so full of joy yet so full of sadness at one time that I probably should go see a psychologist because I'm an emotional wreck. I just the ending that is all I'm going to say the ending was by far amazing. I oh my gosh. So um look at the cover. Just look at it. Isn't it a beautiful cover? I just I love this cover. It's like out of all my books, one of my most favorite covers, like, ever. Um, Nehemia. Oh, I'm going to cry. Nehemia. Like, what happened? Why? Why did this happen? I just, I don't know how to fully express my feelings towards Nehemia. I, I just don't know how to express it, and I wish I could tell you, but I'm not going to. So just get to maybe this page right there. Yeah, that page, you know that page right there. I'm not going to actually show you the page, because that would be just why. I am just overshocked. I'm very shocked, and I honestly want to get my hands on the next book, The Air of Fire, which I do not have yet, unfortunately. It... it I wish I had it just so I could jump right into it and see what happens with Selena and see what happens with Kaol. I honestly just want to see what happens. I want to I want to see what happens in the next book. So I'm probably going to get it. Like now, I think I'm going to go to the store now and go get it. So I gave Crown of Midnight 4.5 out of five, Sarah J. Moss, I am just impressed with you and your books. And I cannot wait to read the next one. I can't re wait to read the next three because I found out that there's going to be six in this series. So 
Thank you so much for writing these books. See you guys later.